What is going on guys? We are back with another video. Today it is the Panthers rebuild, the realistic rebuild of the Panthers. I know there's been uh, some people wanting a fantasy draft rebuild. We'll do that, okay? I remember, I see your comments, I see them. I'm just a little lazy. <laughs> no, but uh, we'll, we'll do that soon enough. Uh, I appreciate the support on the channel as well, by the way. I know we're getting mushy. Let's all just give each other a hug and then get on with it. Holy crap, Cam has got started. What in the world? But yeah, I appreciate it. You know, when I ask for like and subscribe, please do that if you want to. Don't mind. Uh, you guys do it, which is just insane. I really appreciate it. Regardless, it's been fun. It's been fun. Uh, unfortunately, Greg Little has been disrespected by EA, kind of. I don't know how well he's playing in real life. You know, we're halfway through the season. He's a 68 overall still, so maybe he's not doing super well. Uh, but it would have been nice because this offensive line is, is pretty decent and there's some developable pieces and, oh, Jesus, 29, Paradis. Moten, not bad. Daryl's like 26, 27. Okay, a little older than I thought. Tri's probably 26, 27, 26. It's a pretty good O-line. Uh, Greg Olson, uh, 34. If he had a better... If he can get a development up to Superstar, it'll be like right before the regression. So maybe he can sneak away. Christian McCaffrey should probably be a little bit higher than 93. But, I mean, for, for franchise purposes, it's perfectly fine. Um... All right, so looking at the defense, you got Shaq Thompson. We just done our practice, so we'll move him up to a 79 overall. He usually needs a con Wait, did he get a contract in real life? He usually needs one soon. Brian Burns, don't know why the Packers didn't draft him because <laughs> you wanted an edge rusher. Instead, you got another versatile guy. This team can't just commit, you know? How many times do you just see year after year you draft a versatile guy and it works out? Get a guy that knows his position rather than is okay at other, you know, every position. Just get a guy, you know? If, imagine the Packers at Burns. Oh, or Devin, but oh, don't get me started. I'm just saying, if EA doesn't remove Luck and Antonio Brown from free agency, the very next time we do a fantasy draft, not a fantasy draft, a uh, fantasy rebuild, we're cheesing the hell out of it. We're picking both of them up and we're starting them. I don't care what anyone says. Like, they want to play this game, I'll play this game. Don't test me, yeah, I swear to Jesus. So what's the story with Eric Berry? Is he, like, not actually playing football anymore? Like, I kind of want him. Like, could you could you play football again, please? Trevor Williams, isn't he on a team? Wait, he's actually a free agent? This is not not going to last anytime soon. I'm going to bring him to the cornerback needy Carolina Panthers. Uh, we never get to use free agency. You know, we never get to utilize it. Muhammad Wilkerson, uh, was he? No, he wasn't in trouble with the law, was he? People just don't want to try him out anymore. Yeah, I'm just not even seeing anything. Never going to forget Kentrell Bryce for ruining Muhammad Wilkerson's career. Might have had a chance to fix it with us. Job Green Bay, as per usual, ending people's careers. Love it. Ah, uh, so he was arrested. That's probably what it is. Oh, well, this is uh, the team we're going to be rocking with. Trevor, I know Bradbury is actually playing pretty well. The fourth. Mate, what do you think this is? GTA. Get the hell out of here with that. Thanks, Greg. Totally needed to know about developments. Jesus, how much mentorship do we need? Yeah, Will Greer. That's of, of all the QBs. Work with the O-line. Aha, there we go. That's actually big. Plus one awareness. I'll take that. Mate, he's starting over you. What are you talking about? Wait, what? All right, cool, man. I need to start doing these. I never do these in our franchises because usually we get through preseason pre almost instantaneously. All right, so we have players. Gerald McCoy, I do not think so, pal. James Bradbury, they usually re-sign him. We'll think about it. I'm not sure. Like, in real life, you probably do, but in in game, it's just like, why would you re-sign him when you can get better, you know? I've seen uh, Trevor Williams play pretty decently, so we will give him... A five-year deal. He's a lot younger, has better development. Yeah, it's very hard to do these realistics because you got to think about it. Not just that, but somebody did make a very good point that this is me playing the game. So, like, you can't really make it realistic. You can make it a realistic style where you're not trading off guys that are, you know, like you're not trading off McCaffrey. Long-term kicker. This guy uh, probably deserves it. He's looking insane. Let's be honest, nobody cares about run stopping. We're just gonna we're just gonna go Baz Rusher from now on. That's all that matters really. Superstar. He's a beast, man. 90 finesse as well. Jesus. Already 90? I only upgraded him three times. Ooh, a speed for DJ Moore. That is a lucky one. I have had like no luck in our Titans one so far. I don't think we've had any speed. We've had a couple of excels. Look at that 94. It's pretty solid. 
Should have did this damn Panthers rebuild sooner. Oh, five and two. Never mind. Should have done this sooner because Cam kind of sucks now. Like that sucks so much. Like star development. Like what can I even do with him? Like what? This is a big game here, and I think if we win, we're in. Wow, we actually did really, really well. So eleven and five is only the wild card, but that is because the Saints killed it. It was a really good season, though. I mean, I'm really impressed with this. Uh, very good, actually. Eleven and five, not bad at all. I mean, won a decent. I mean, you lost three of the last six, but you also won three of the last six. So. It was a strong finish considering who you had to play. You had to play the Seahawks, Colts, and Saints, and you win all of those games. You lose to the Falcons, Saints, and the Falcons. I mean, the Falcons, I don't understand how they won so many games, but this is a really tough division, and here you are. You know, <laughs> playing pretty well. Cam Newton, not great, but not bad either. Christian McCaffrey, really solid. Receiving, ah, uh, no, that's really bad. Why is the yards per catch so bad? I mean, there were some decent, like, 70 catches, like 600 yards. It's terrible. It's pretty terrible for a, a burner-style team. But, yeah, I mean, I, I like the way they played. Joey Sly, I didn't even mean to start him, but he is starting, I'm pretty sure, in real life. So it is what it is. I mean, I'll take it. We re-signed him anyway, so I'm happy with it. Let's take a look at the awards because there's a chance we won a few, perhaps. Maybe best running. <laughs> Trubisky, okay. Okay there, okay there. Uh, any rookie stuff too for the the Bucks? Maybe we don't have any awards. Maybe not even best kicker. Slide did pretty damn well. Eighty four Panthers versus the eighty five Niners. All right. Really wish this wasn't the Forty ers but okay. They just had to sneak in nine and seven. I believe we did beat them too. They're gonna win this game, and I know, and I'm gonna cry. Maybe the Panthers are gonna win a Super Bowl here. Maybe all it takes is having uh, another really good uh, cornerback like Trevor Williams. Not bad. We missed the extra point. Come on, Rook. Good defense. Offenses. I mean, they're moving the ball slightly. Like, it's enough. This has been a really good defensive battle. That extra point could be the difference in this one. We'll see. I know it won't be because they kicked a field goal. Yeah, that's that's really bad football by them. Kicking a field goal to go down nine with seven minutes left. That's terrible. Cam Newton was a super game manager. Had a very good accuracy game, but he did throw a pick. 22 for 24 is still really good regardless. Brito was locked down. It was just not a great offensive battle by either team. Uh, what's this? He got a long arse? Oh, long anchor. <laughs> I thought he had a long arse. I was like, I don't know how that works, but all right. Sly missed an extra point and a kick. They could have both been blocked for all we know, but he's a rookie, so I don't really care. Still a really good season. Good performance. Divisional. Saints, probably. Saints. Okay. Makes sense. The Saints. We beat them once. Another 85 overall team. God, that team is loaded. Other than the Cow... I mean, the NFC is so hard to beat. So, any of these rebuilds in this NFC is just automatically going to be harder. You got the Cowboys. You got the 49ers. You got the Saints. Packers are probably pretty decent in the game now. You got some really good teams on that NFC side. Chiefs move on because, of course, Patrick Mahomes not hurt in this universe. Same as Cam. You know, it's only fair. You got the injuries off. That's the realistic move. You put the injuries on, you lose every single player to injury. All right, really? I'm, I'm honestly surprised by this team, man. Like, I just didn't expect this offense to be as good as it is. That was really bad. We needed that score before half. This is a tough-fought game. And we win the game. Wow. Christian McCaffrey with a long run. This team is shocking me. I'm actually so confused by the success. I mean, look at the accuracy on Cam. 95%. His only miss was a pick. I am not touching anything because we are going to be the greatest team of all time at this rate. I'm not touching anything. Cam, don't regress. Cam, keep doing whatever you're doing. I don't care if you throw that one pick every game. They do even know how ridiculous that would be. Two games, he missed three throws. Two of them were picks. Like, were they deflected? What's the story? Because, like, that's unheard of. Brian Burns, I don't... Why is he getting coverage? What? what the hell is that all about? So good, though. So good. All right, if it's not the Cowboys, we're in the Super Bowl. Damn it, the Cowboys were not in the Super Bowl. 87 out the gate. Damn, son, this is not an easy game, man. If we win the Super Bowl, I'm taking I'm taking credit. I don't care. Ooh, the Chiefs all the way. I'm taking credit. Moving around some pieces, and then ultimately, 
signing Trevor Williams. Clearly, this is all on me. If we're left to right, man, just knowing that we had a chance to be up by like three scores is hurting me. Defense, please. No. Okay, slow down. It's the first time we've had to slow down. Oh, you can't punt it. It's a great punt. Don't get me wrong. But I just don't believe you can. Oh, they stopped him. There you go. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. You do you, Carolina. Fourth and five. They No, they don't miss it. Apparently, Dontari Poe is a god. I guess you, you can deflect it at the line. Third and six, conversion. There's no way this team makes the Super Bowl. Really? Holy crap. What an effort by the Dallas at the end. This defense is championship level. In fairness, the defense is pretty good in real life. Once again, Cam, another crazy accuracy game. Not as accurate, but two touchdowns, one pick. Another pick. I don't know how he's doing it, but, I mean, I'll take it. I throw your one pick a game. We can overcome it with your accuracy. That's all that matters to me. Ross Cockrell getting in there. I don't know how. So hard for me not to say ring after uh, the first part of that last name. Why it's hard, I don't know. How <laughs> I get it? Oh, hello. So the Chiefs, huh? The Chiefs are probably the worst team we've played in the postseason here, but it's kind of a 99 overall quarterback, which is just, I mean, I'm so happy to face this guy, right? Can we just snap his knee? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's... <sighs> snap his knee brace off because he's healthy. Am I right? I mean, look at this offense. Like, how do you... Not even just the offense. There's defense there, too. Unbelievable. There's no way... This team is good, though. I like this team. Come on. Come on. Automatically a, a we rebuild win. I almost said we build. <laughs> that would not be something I could live by. But year one, all I did was at, well, in fairness, I had a Trevor Williams, which, once again, proves that it's, this is all my doing. It's pretty obvious at this point. I mean, <laughs> one player added to the team, obviously it's my doing. So left to right is us again. Chiefs offense is struggling, which is okay. But guess who else's offense is struggling? Ours. Oh, no. We are getting smoked, aren't we? Lads, are you serious? Move the damn ball. Okay. Nah, it's it's too late anyways. They lost. Yeah, we got smoked, man. You're telling me the Chiefs defense. Where is this amazing defense that I'm hearing? Is like a few pieces. They just won 21 to 3. We put up 42 points on the Saints, yet only 3 on the Chiefs. Ah, oh, congratulations, Kansas. I am not happy. I'm unhappy. I'm not happy at all. Nah, we're not watching it. Sorry, Andy, you freaking goblin. All right, Cam. Oh, what did we had a deal? And here you are, throwing a pick, but not throwing well. I said you can throw your pick, but we can overcome with your accuracy. Where was the accuracy part? Where? We lost a game where their kicker missed two kicks, and Mahomes threw two picks. It rhymes as well. Oh yeah, look at Cam. I don't care. He's not even an X-Factor. Take away that screen. Irrelevant. Yeah, it's actually kind of weird if you think about it. Like It is actually so weird. Uh, so we went with wide receiver training before. I want a new QB, but it's just not going to happen. So what's what's even the point? Three, ooh, that was really good. O-line, D-line, and DB. So one of the biggest needs on this team now is probably some sort of playmaker on offense. I know you have two decent young receivers, but you don't have a true number one here. Nah, they're pretty good, actually. They're, they're very good. I guess you don't have a number one when it comes to size. Cam Newton, I don't know if he's going to regress... Actually, we might have already... Yeah, we already did regress. Uh, so, he's an 81 overall. So, I think at this current rate, he'll be fine. Unfortunately, Greg Olson did not go up in development. So, his career is about to be over soon. Defensively, any upgrades? Keekly, Not seeing any development up. So, Dante and... All right. So, I mean, I'm liking that. I like that. We need a new right end. Is Gerald McCoy really fine? 84 overall? I mean, I'll give him a one-year deal if I can. Maybe we try to tag him. I'm not sure. Do you want a, like, $11 million a year deal? One one year? Okay, well, I'm not doing that then. James Bradbury is solid, though. What's his hit? Kyle Allen in real life. They probably re-sign him if they can. But in-game, we can't do it. We just can't afford it, and he's just not going to be there in development. 
This is a lot of money. I'll lower, I'll lowball him a little bit. I would like to play for a new team. Franchise tag is 15, so yeah, we'll let him go. We'll see what we can do. I mean, we need a new corner now, but there's other options. So 22 mil. What position do we need to fill? Hello. I'm sorry. Jarius Wright was 30 now. Isn't this the guy that used to be on the Vikings? He's not getting paid a lot, so shout out to the these guys. Jamon Moore. Good old bust. Uh, so we need a corner, we need a right end, need an outside linebacker, and then everything else is fine, but we'll be looking at safety. So Chris Jones wins a Super Bowl, and they're gone with him. Same with the entire team. I know Kareem Hunt isn't, but still. All right. Matt Burita, really? Going to let him go? That doesn't seem like something they do. Same with Joe. I don't I don't think that's going to happen. Gerald McCoy, let's see if we can get him back. I really don't want to pay him $20 million. I really just don't. I have no idea who we're going to get, if anyone, at this rate. We got Sean Robinson. We actually got Trent Murphy for a near-veteran minimum deal. I don't know, maybe nobody's going to offer him. In fairness, he would probably have a pretty low market. I grabbed him back just because, well, not back, but I grabbed him because I think he's a pretty decent overall at outside linebacker, right? Like, I'm sure he played there for the Redskins. So, what is it, 75, 76 to a what at outside I mean, he's just a, a, you know, a little bandager at the moment. You know, a 76 overall for, you know, stability, just in case. You never know. You never know. Aishan, I really just kind of fell in love with the star development, really. Uh, but it's a decent deal. It's like a three- or a four-year $12 million deal. So, I mean, we're catching players at the end of their, not end of their careers, but at a bad time in their careers. So, we're getting some deals. Can't lie. Nobody wants, the, he's just not going to join us, really. Two-year, $18 million deal? It's, it's pretty good money. I'm really shocked. I should have actually paid Anthony. Because now we're going to have to like get a real cornerback, which I just don't want to do. Do I just fight on one of these? Like, I made the mistake. Do I just take... Yeah, I could just go with Jimmy. Because there, there's got to be somebody here that you could just use as a back. Because we don't need a starter. We just need a backup. There you go. McKenzie. We actually got a Damakong Sue, which means I am definitely pulling my offer... On uh, Gerald McCoy, who I'm really shocked has not signed with us. A two-year, almost $20 million deal like he wants to rejoin a team that made the Super Bowl. Like, Is he just trying to coast in his career? I'm calling Gerald McCoy out. He is lazy. In-game, of course. Do not smite me in real life. So Sue, of course, is a superstar. Will play as the starter over Aishon. Aishon's only 25. He's got the long-term deal now. He's fine. No worry about it. Pass rushing linebacker is on the mind. Can we get one, though? It's a very hard position to fill. Cornerback, I think we can fill with a free agent. You know, we have the two starters. We're fine there. Strong safety is a need for sure, though. Uh, offensive line, we could use a tackle. But overall, I mean, we're maybe just looking at replacing someone in the future. And then wide receiver, I think we need one maybe. QB, we'll have in the back of the mind. I think I've seen someone later in the draft. Oh, never mind. We got uh, Alexander after all. I must say, this is looking like one of the best draft classes I've literally ever seen put that guy on the list like this is looking really good i mean look at some of the quarterback i mean these guys are terrible but kentrell ellington do we maybe take a reach at late first i don't know you also have randy kirkland uh he's got good potentials bad development written all over him but you don't know you just don't know it could be like an x factor you know the game does like to throw in steals i didn't scout many of the wide receivers because this is kind of where the class takes a bit of a drop is the wide receiver position unfortunately I mean, you look at some of the grades. I mean, I looked at most of these guys. They don't look great. You have the the number one guy being super slow. I mean, look at that. Might be decent, but a 4'6'3 at six foot tall, 200 pounds. I don't even know how that even makes it. Usually, like, that's just not the case. Because typically, those players just aren't good, simply put. Uh, maybe put Sheard on the list just because we do need a tight end. This is one of the best left tackle classes I've ever seen. Though, look, I mean, there's some really good names here. Dante Wake, I'm going to put him on the list. I need to start putting some of these guys on the list because usually I just kind of glance over because the AI scouts most of these for us. But yeah, I mean, I know who I want, I think. Who's Dean Bowen? But, like, will we have a chance? I know I could quick scout, but I always forget to. Will we have a chance is the question. All right, so going to the draft, of course, pick 31. We do have a safety, and he would be really good, I think. But is he really a strong safety? I don't know. Jakari O'Neal looks very good, but he's a mid-first projection, so I don't think we can do it. But we do have a Marvin Joseph here who looks very good. Decent hit power, can probably play safety. 
you know, early fifth, uh, we have this guy who's really slow. Early third, yeah, sure there, pal. I'm sure that guy's in early third, right? I really don't know what to do, though. Like, I don't have a number one guy that I want other than that free safety, but even him, we have that strong safety later. We don't have to go super high for him. Ooh, he was really good, though. The Eagles get a safety. That's, that's a really big draft pick for him. Spriggs. So far, all oh, Lambert. Jesus, so far, all the guys we had on our list are absolute studs. Troy, I mean, there's really good left tackles in this class. We could use a lineman, but once again, I think that's more of a future thing than an actual right now thing. The QB is still there. He looks really good, but I mean, Cam is still on the team for at least another year, and he played pretty well. We can get Kirkland in the third. Is this guy worth taking? He looks pretty good. I mean, that would set the wide receiver core, but do we really need another wide receiver? I don't know. Should we trade up for Hess? Damn it, do I just risk it? Because I can't make the trade up. We don't have the capital. Take my man hurts. Damn it. Can we not do this stupid reorder crap? I'm actually getting sick of this glitch, man. You're not getting more than a fourth. So we trade pick 31 and Dontari Poe for pick 28, a fifth round, and Tyrod Taylor. We only took Tyrod Taylor because they couldn't afford to uh, take the trade. Poe is on a one-year deal, and this DT is more than likely going to replace him. The question is, is he better than Border? I freaking hope so, because the other guy we could have just waited on. I mean, in my opinion, he looks way better. So we're going to go with him. 76 overall hidden, so that's an immediate. Oh, he's like fast like Poe as well. I saw 4.8. I didn't think 4.8 was 78 speed, 83 excel. I guess that makes a lot of sense, actually. Wow, he looks really good. High motor trade is his only trade. Stamina is really bad, though. Yikes. If this was a user league, you'd actually be kind of like... You'd actually be really conflicted. You don't know what to say with that. We need a wide receiver once again. I think we have the first two. Like, you know, our, and we have our top two. I don't really think we need to worry too much outside of that. They did want DT. We knew it. We knew we knew we knew had to have a... Hey, hey. We knew how to hop. Jesus, my brain just had a skipper. A lot of good running backs, though, I will say. Wow, a lot of good running backs indeed. Like three out of the last five picks were really good running backs. Well, based on overall. This is one of the best drafts. I mean, I don't know the developments, but look at that. Another great running back. Border was good. I mean, this is one of the best drafts for certain positions I've ever seen. Corners, terrible. Um, outside linebackers, pretty bad. Especially pass rush in general, pretty bad. Chris Harris went that high. Now I'm really starting to think this QB might go. We gave him pick 63, 127, and man hurts to move up like nine spots. So, I mean, that's a pretty fair trade, I think. Is he there? Randy Kirkland. Uh, looks like a very good pocket passer. Kind of the opposite of what they probably want, but that's what we're taking. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. Oh, what a freaking pick. Hidden. No speed, but his excellent agility is all right. I mean, 60, it's all right. It could have been worse. 95 injury, 95 stamina. Uh, just thinking about usually. That's oh, 54 break. So they go from Cam, one of the best players in NFL history of breaking sacks at quarterback, to one of the worst quarterbacks to ever try to break a sack. Jesus, is brutal. So we trade him our young left guard, a fourth round and a fifth round for uh, their third round pick. Maybe a little bit of a theft, but offensive linemen that are young and have potential aren't just the easiest things in the world to get. This could be a reach going for Marvin this early, but like I really want a new safety, so I'm going to go with him. Okay, so 73 hidden. As long as he's star or better. Ah, oh, crap. No, I clicked B. I want to see how good he was because he looked pretty fast. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what I was kind of hoping for. Something like that. Not great, but, you know, almost star quality already. Let's go to our pick. If he's there, I'm going to take him. We're just going to take best available. We're definitely not trading down. I mean, we're, we're on a roll here, so there's no point to. He is there. So Javier Crawford, late fourth. Uh, maybe we're just getting tricked by a good combine and good potentials, but you can't pass on it. You just can't. I mean, that's good. Normal development, but 75 overall. Maybe in a rebuild, that's not super great. But, I mean, that's a, you know, that's a saving pick for the future. Do I really hand him over a full third round, though? I mean, this is a high fourth. Yeah, it, I think it's fair. It's fair. We're getting a player this year. They get a really solid trade there, though. So we're going to go with those. Please, for the love of God, Lyman. Okay, 67 overall, which is really bad. His potentials look way better than that. I'm just hoping that hidden's better than star. I mean, even if it isn't, I guess it was worth the trade up. A whole third round sucks, but it could have been worse. It could have been a 67 overall normal, so I'm not going to be mad with them. I mean, this guy is the best combine grade, so we're just going to go with him. Normal development. Yikes. Wait, was that a fifth round pick? 
Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought we were in the seventh. No. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. 69 overall. Now, now after this draft, I'm going to see all the punters and kickers. I want to see if we actually miss because, you know, we normally don't take two in a draft. So I'm gonna, I want to see if we made a mistake. Uh, so we have a lot of guys with hidden. So here we go. Edit player. Hidden development. I mean, yeah, a superstar. Okay. <laughs> yeah, hidden development. That's that's kind of the point. All right, Kirkland, you know the drill here. Superstar X Factor, and you start. Okay, star. I mean, it was a second-round pick. Superstar would have been a bit to ask for, but I'll take it. Star development works for me. Uh, superstar for the state. When did we take him? In the third round. What a steal. I oh, forgot. Normal. Uh, Lyman, 67 overall. That safety's huge, man. That's the biggest position we had coming into the draft. Okay, so now this brings up a question. Do we even look at these guys anymore? Because that now it's almost like cheating. Because I had no idea he was going to be that good. And I had pretty much no plan to start him. But now, knowing the info I do, I kind of have to. There's so many good players in this draft. Like, do I actually go through and look at some of these players? Because, like, this is an insane draft. Start of element. This was one of the best. I mean, I don't even mind trading up from the third round next year especially with superstar but but without superstar with how good of a class this was there was really no losing making a pick in this draft like you had to i mean this is just outstanding like i can't believe how good this class was just like look at that look i mean look at like how many 74 overalls there were in the top part of the draft this was like the only good outside linebacker but he wasn't even pass rusher barry pitts <laughs> barry your pits started a lot of start of elements in fairness Let's see some of the guys we miss. I can't look at every single player. I'll lose my mind just clicking. Okay, here we go. J Jakari O'Neal would it have been smart for us to trade up. We thought about it, but we ultimately decided not to. And, I mean, it's hard to go against an X-Factor, right? However, our safety was Superstar, which is still very good. Here's Spriggs. Would he have been worth going up for? Spriggs hidden with... Damn, Superstar as well. These are some really good players. I can't really say much about it because we don't need middle linebackers, so... Trading up would have been stupid, even if he's amazing. And he is amazing. How? Wait, I got to see this guy. Could it, like, could it stop resetting me, please? Superstar X Factor, 86 speed, 88 Excel, 8, 78 zone, 78 jumping, 75 catching. That is one of the best linebackers I've ever seen. I don't like that he's 23 and he's only 5'11", but that's one of the best linebackers I've ever seen. At least in this Madden, not a question about it, like... Uh, very slow. Slower than our guy. Pretty damn accurate, though, if he's... He might be, like, an X-Factor, to be honest. Ooh, stars. I'm so stupid. Like, we were pick 31 in the seventh round. There was, like, four, six other players. Of course they all went undrafted. Oh, my God, I'm smart. Are they in free agency, then? That's unfair that they get free dibs on players and we don't. Like, that's so stupid. How is that fair at all? Like, that's so BS. Jack Stevens. Ooh, hidden. I'm taking him. Jack Stevens, my guy. How are you? Let's take a look at that development. Don't really need him, but... Holy what? What's his accuracy? In kick power? But I guess we're going to keep him. Oh my god, we actually paid him so much because he was a fifth rounder. Wow, we're actually like stuck with these guys. <laughs> 100k for taking a fifth... For not even a fifth round. That was like a seventh round punter. Why do we pay him so much? I would love to see in the future for you to be able to choose who you want. Do we trade Graham Gano? I think a team like the Chiefs or the Titans would pay a full third round pick. I kid you not. I think they would. I think we're going to make the trade to the Titans. You know you're looking bad when you can't even afford a punter. 420, how you doing? He's not even a punter, he's a kicker. With kicker sliders up to 300%, I really wonder how fast a superstar kicker would go. I've never even seen that. I didn't even know it was a thing. This Stevens guy is is quite interesting. He's 2,000 XP to upgrade. He only has... Where's his awareness? 48. I think it would take a long time. Uh, you know, 23 years old. But it's interesting. It'd be interesting. Definitely need to address the outside linebacker position. Uh, we probably need another cornerback real quick. But, I mean, this is a pretty solid looking team. You know, we, oh, we got a bit Joseph starting. Uh, can't get rid of Eric Reed because he's basically being paid five mil, and it would cost us five mil to cut. So there's no point in removing him. But I mean, you got a couple of new names. You know, the strong safety, the DT, 
getting younger there. New left guard. We're not going to start him, but he's going to be in the practice and with superstar development on like 200% sliders, he should go up pretty quickly. Same with Kirkland, 182 QB sliders on the practice squad. He should be almost, if not higher than Cam by the end of the year. So, I mean, this team's set up for the future and hell, they're set up right now to win. Well, isn't that just nice of him? I don't know why they do that, by the way. Like, it makes no sense. I just clicked A to spam it. Probably should have looked at something else. Hopefully there wasn't one that said throw power. That would be brutal. Resign time for some of the big names. Christian Mc... Wow, really? A seven-year deal? I mean, we'll give him the deal, but I did not think they were going to have him get a seven-year deal. Interesting. Curtis Samuel, uh, you know, long-term guy. I don't know why he ever hits free agency. Give him a six-year deal. Olsen, I would love to, pal. You're a great player and all that, but let's be honest. You're going to retire on us. You're just... You're trying to rob us, trying to Andrew uh, luck us, pal, and I'm not having it. Jack Stevens, we'll just give him the contract now. Give him a four-year deal just to stay as a backup. Cam Newton, unfortunately, Cam, uh, unless you're like an MVP level, you're probably gone. Let's be honest. Look at this, six upgrades as a backup. Like, I get where our sliders are a little high, but I'd say in most leagues, people are rocking at least 200% sliders with how slow offensive linemen develop. But yeah, these, uh, I mean, honestly, we shouldn't even be upgrading. I'm not even going to upgrade him anymore. I'm not, this is stupid. Why would I even upgrade him? Same with uh, Kirkland. We're going to start holding these upgrades. People that aren't starting shouldn't get upgraded because why would you? You can get quicker, faster upgrades for guys that aren't playing. So we're having a really good season, but more importantly, the rest of the division is not. This is a walk in the park and, whoa, maybe not. Holy crap. So... The Saints, I think, won seven straight games. I'm just going to say that. I got to take a look at this. Why couldn't we have won more? If we would have just won the first game we lost to the Saints, where was it? Right here. If we would have won that game, we'd have a bye week and the Saints wouldn't be in the playoffs. But guess what? They're back. Let's take a look. I guarantee they won seven straight. Look at that. Seven straight wins. Unbelievable. What about the rest of the division? Yeah, not, not so great <laughs> elsewhere. Uh, taking a look at the stats, Cam had a lot of touchdowns. Yards were down a little bit. Seems more of a situational thing. Less rushing touchdowns. DJ Moore was okay. I mean, he was good with touchdowns and yardage. I mean, I want to see some better numbers. Like, these are really bad numbers. Greg, I mean, offensive line's doing really well, though. I'll give him that. Pass rush, uh, I mean, kind of disappointing. Brian Burns here, but Hess with five is good as a DT. Trevor Williams with three. Kicking, Sly, yikers. He did miss one. Uh, get blocked, so. It is what it is. Let's take a look at some of the awards. Was there anyone? Maybe we ruined the quarterback, but Cam's got to start. He's on contract. You know, he was almost an MVP. It made sense for him to start. Mitchell Trubisky and Madden is just like the greatest player of all time somehow. It's pretty ironic. I bet you Mitchell Trubisky secretly gets into these rebuilds and then plays every single one of his games in the little short time span he has. And he probably force wins all those games. Let's take a look. Where's Where is he? Yeah, oh, and now he hears me. He leaves the league. He's going to be back in a second. But let's take a look at what the actual team looks like here. All uh, right, so 80 overall. for I forgot they automatically upgrade him anyways. I guess it doesn't matter after the season's over. But uh, Kirkland, how does he, he? There's no way he played. Oh, may, no. Would you play seven, 278 downs as a holder? Maybe? I don't even know, but that seems kind of interesting. It doesn't really matter because obviously... Once the season's over, you get revealed anyways. Uh, Lyman's a 77 overall. That is such a clutch pick. Anytime you get a superstar lineman, your your, your day's good. It is. Uh, Joseph, 77 overall. So this team could win a Super Bowl here and is super primed for the next season. Let's take a look. Saints, what overall are they? 85. They really turned it around, man. They they were 3-6. and six, And then they beat us. And then they won six straight after, which is ridiculous. Okay, this is an interesting game. Up seven. Tied up seven. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, Christian, good job. There we go. Keeping this thing close enough. I don't like it now. I'm scared. To the four. You got to get this in. Okay, there you go. That's what she said. There you go, defense. Okay, this is a long drive. Offense can do it, though. I believe in them. Wow, what a drive. Finish this up. Look at this drive. Okay, this game sucks. We'll watch it play out, but we obviously deserve the win. So I'm not going to not going to give them the benefit of the doubt. But I think offense can... Nope, maybe not. 
Okay, there you go. That should be an automatic win now. I was going to force it, but I think the team can do it on their own. Oh, man. I wish they would fix that, though. Can we do it this year, though? 12-4 and four Packers. All right, this is interesting. 81 overall. This is Rogers' last chance at a ring. Let's ruin him. Let's ruin this man. He's probably like an 84 overall because the regression hits so hard in Madden. Not sure why, but I don't know. They fix regression elsewhere, but QB they don't. The one position that regresses less than any other position other than maybe kicker and punter, which is a debatable one because kicker and punter is so hit or miss every time. Come on. There you go. I mean, field goals suck, but it's better than not having points, I suppose. Up by three because of those field goals. Down by four because of those field goals. I mean, the field goals are keeping us in this game. Oh, you got to go for that. That's that's a game-losing situation, I think. Maybe not. From the two, you need a long drive. Running the ball. Well, the decision-making here has completely lost us the chance. I mean, what are those decisions? Ron would be fired. And I know technically we're Ron here, but Ron would be gone. If I was, my, if I was the owner, I'd be like, yeet, see you later. New coach. I don't care who it is. Bring back Lovey Smith. <laughs> I don't even know. And by back, I mean like in the NFL. I don't know what teams he's coached for in the NFL, but other than like the Bears and the Bucks. But that's poor. That is so bad at coaching. You're at midfield with like what four minutes left in the Super Bowl or the um the divisional? And you punt it? Are you serious? You could have the greatest defense ever assembled. And I don't care. I just don't. You're you're going for that ball. The Bears and the Colts both have the same logo. You just got to turn them on their side a little. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, the Colts win the Super Bowl. Final season coming up. Cam Newton's now a 79 overall. See you later, pal. Uh, we're not going to resign any of these guys. See you later. I'd say we have a lot of cap space now. Yeah, 40 mil coming off of a uh, championship style run. Uh, you know, quarterback Kirkland is the new starter. Already better than Cam, probably. Technically, yeah. Uh, what else do we have? Receivers looking good. We need a new number three. We might spend some money here. We're going to lose. You know, we lost Olsen. Ian Thomas is okay as a replacement. We're going to spend some money in the offseason here. This is a championship roster we need to build. Uh, Daryl Williams is probably pretty old. Yeah, 29. I think we can trade Daryl Williams, start Lyman. I think that's probably the best idea because Daryl Williams would be worth quite a bit. I would say probably a third round on contract. In a Madden league, you'd probably be like a near second. So I think we're going to trade him for a third uh, defensively, we need a pass rusher for sure. Trey Boston could be replaced. Cornerbacks, I think, are fine unless there's some huge name there and we move Trevor back to three. Sue is probably going to be gone, so we need to replace that position. So hopefully there's big names because we can afford a lot. Trent, okay. Miles Garrett, though. Give me that. Give me that. Join the team. 118 mil is not enough. We should be getting paid more. Sherman, welcome to the team. Oh Jesus! Okay, we're we're okay. We're, we're spending a little bit of money. Maybe we'd calm down. <laughs> Trubisky's an X factor. First one free. Oh my God, he's an X factor. Why? Of all the people, they could have made an X factor. Johnson, Johnson, my man. Welcome to the team. That's a new free safety. Good job. Good job, team. Will Fuller. Ah, we do that move too much. We do that move too much. There's some things I can't do. Okay, Devin McCourty's a superstar. Man, look, he's like an 84 over, unless his like, overall is really high now and that regression is still like good. That's pretty good. It's pretty impressive. Gerald McCoy back in free agency. He deserves it. He deserves free agency. So who do we get? If we didn't get Miles, thank you. Miles Garrett. We also got Cam Robinson as a backup. We paid him a very small amount. Some people just want to ring. Some people just want to learn behind decent offensive linemen. Of course, uh, Daryl will be traded what else do we have? So we didn't get a wide receiver. I tried to get somebody. I didn't want to pay uh, Will Fuller. I think he's a starting caliber guy. We don't really need that. Wanted a safety. How come no one joined us is the real question. Uh, we don't really need corner, so I'm fine there. Uh, you know, Miles Garrett, we're going to move to outside linebacker. He's a 94 now. Hopefully he doesn't go down too much as a right outside linebacker. He's sick as a right end, though. Can't move. I can't move the whole team back to a 4-3, though. Or can I? No, we won't. We won't. Got a lot of big guys down here. Johnson. Oh, it was Johnson that didn't sign. Aha! What up, Johnson? We actually got Kenny Stills. Okay, I'm actually shocked by that. That's a huge signing for us. 
Uh, McCoy, I don't know what his problem is with the franchise, but go off. See you later, pal. Hope you uh, enjoy watching us win a Super Bowl from the couch, pal. Kenny Steele like, steals. See how much he still has under the in the old tank. Looking pretty good. I mean, that's you know top two worthy, and he's gonna play number three, so he should enjoy it. Uh, need a new tight end? There really wasn't much. I offered Jared Cook. We'll see if he joins, but he's only a 79 anyway. So biggest thing in the draft is probably gonna be uh, you know tight end. I mean, I don't know if there's really gonna be a tight end there for us, but that's who we're gonna be looking for. Not usually a position you can find too easily and maybe see one in a draft which usually goes top 15 so not really sure what we do there trey boston we did sign to a three-year deal but i believe this is the final year of his three-year or he's got one more i can't really remember but it doesn't have a whole lot left uh on the team but he's fine as a backup and then eric reed i think we can finally get rid of i mean not as great but 2.8 mil hit to save seven is perfectly fine uh, this is a really good looking team though. I, I think outside of maybe right end and you know maybe a tight end, we're freaking amazing. This is one of the best realistic rebuilds we've had. I might look at running back as well as a backup because we could use a better one. But yeah, this is a really good team. Like we said, there's usually one Nick McBride, but I mean <laughs> bid first, that's probably gonna be a top ten, borderline top ten pick. I don't know. I just do we go that high? I mean, that's who we need. We're we're at twenty five. Do we trade first and second to get a tight end though? That's that's a bit of a reach. It's not an easy position to find. In fairness, is there any like wide receivers who can put a tight end? We'll see. Maybe Jared Cook joins us. I don't know. I, I just don't think Ian Thomas is good enough. But I also don't think it's probably worth up. I mean, unless that guy's a superstar or an X factor it's not going to be worth the trade up. So I know that's going to be a tough decision. We do have that offensive lineman. Maybe we trade the offensive lineman in the next year third. Mm, know, even that's not really realistic though. Okay. So we did get Jared cook. We also got Tevin as a backup. There's a pretty solid looking corner. I'll show you in a sec. Bart Sanborn. I almost said Sanford looks pretty good. I mean, that's a guy you could get in the future or use for the future. He's a late first. Really a late first pro Oh, no, it's early first. I was about to say, it looks better than a late first projection. Um, I don't know. I Jared Cook is a bandage for a glaring need, but do you also trade away more of your future to get there? I don't know. I think if he's there in the top 10, like after the top 10, we might trade up. I also don't want to lose the corner either because, you know, these are guys that could ease... Ooh, draft not looking so hot here. The Giants finally... Try to address linebacker early. Kalen Crawford, great pick by the Raiders. Uh, great pick by the Cardinals. I don't know about that pick for the Eagles. Probably good. Ooh, Steelers with a Steeler. Steal and a half. Okay, so pick 10. He was there, ironically. Now I'm really starting to worry about this corner. Oh, we're going to lose everyone, aren't we? This is so bad. Oh, we got to trade up with the Cowboys because the Texans desperately need corner and the Cowboys do not. Cowboys probably need a lineman at this point. Like, they can't afford everyone. Or maybe they can. <laughs> maybe they can. They got an amazing lineman still. Interesting. Nice. Now how they do it, but good job. We all know they need a safety, so Boston, a pick 25 and a fourth round pick, I think is pretty fair there for the Cowboys, who don't really have any glaring need outside of safety. Who's this? Brendan Wynn. We need a QB. That guy would be looking sharp. Uh, we have the other tight end. I mean, maybe we'll go for him. I, I don't really see that, though. Devontae Morrison. I mean, we could replace our other guy. How old is he? A uh, hell no. 24? I mean, we don't have a whole lot of players here because we don't have a whole lot of draft picks, so I didn't put a lot on the list. 78 overall hidden. Okay. This guy could be... Oh, man, coverage is terrible. This guy could be special. Depending on his development trait is where he'll place on the roster, which, once again, is kind of cheating. Let me know if you guys, I mean, it really seems like nobody's had an issue with it. But I feel like we've traded down too much. We'll just go for Jaleel, whatever. Okay, so hidden, 73 overall. No coverage at all. Uh, is he big enough to play linebacker? Maybe? I don't know. It's not a pick we needed to make, but it is what it is. Uh, we finally saved next year picks for the most part, I think. So that's good. We do have uh, Daryl Williams. We have the trade, so we'll get a third round next. It won't matter for us, though, because, of course, the rebuild ends after this. But, I mean, I like the way we went with this rebuild. This rebuild has went very well. Very well. I don't know. I really wanted to draft an X-Factor in this rebuild. 
And I know oh, there's a corner, but let's be honest, unless they plan on making Sanborn one of the best corners I've ever seen, he's probably not going to be Superstar X Factor. I mean, I'll give, I'll say he might be Superstar. He might be Superstar, but there's no way he's X Factor. Damn, he's not even Superstar? I mean, it's fine. Star development. So, I don't know. Trevor's getting a little older. Is he still worth it? Let's see. Jaleel. There's really nothing Jaleel could do to get to a starting spot anyways. Star development. So, not a great pick, but I guess it's all right. I mean, you can't go wrong with good picks, you know? So, where's that tight end? Tight end went number 10. 75 overall to the Rams. Makes sense, I suppose. Uh, a little raw. I mean, if he's not superstar or better, it's not a good pick. And he's superstar. Okay, so that's a pretty good pick. <laughs> Great. Apparently, if we release Sue, we were free $0 in cap space. As much as I want Aishon to start, he's still a superstar. With no ability, because he's under 80. <laughs> but still, he's a superstar player. 74 power, 78 block shed. I mean, that's pretty much the same as Aishon, but he's stronger with better hit power. So there's no point if we're going to keep them both on the roster. There's no point. Uh, might as well just put him there. Might as well. He's got the scheme fit as well. We'll keep him there. Aishon, I'm sorry, pal. At least you got money coming in. Uh, we're putting Sanford or Sanborn at two because he's a true number two because he's bigger. But we'll put Trevor on the slot corner job as well. I mean, this is a superstar roster. This is, I mean, literally superstar. There's two X Factors and four superstars. Offense, you have one X Factor, one superstar. But it's a bunch of really talented guys that could easily, at any point in time, jump up and dev. Dolphins are the biggest candidate for Daryl Williams ever. They have one of the worst offensive linemen cores in the group. In the group, okay, in the uh, league by far. They have decent draft picks and a ton of money. So the perfect team. We also got John Ross. I didn't mention. Uh, what else do we have? You know, we have a good group of linemen too. Matt Paradis. I don't know how he's still making it, but thanks. I appreciate it. I know he's a rookie QB, technically, but I'd be really shocked if we don't at least make it to the championship round. All right, so we're looking at negotiations. Keekly wants a four-year deal at 30. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll have, to, we'll have to take a look. We have a lot of money right now, though. A four-year deal. I don't know how much X Factors drop, but even if he drops, let's say, seven overalls this year and then another seven, you're looking at two more seasons as a good linebacker, and I don't think it's going to be that much of a drop. I might actually give him this deal. I'm going to try to give him a three year if I can. I think three is a little bit more fair for both sides. Try, I'll give him the contract. Three year deal is perfectly fine for alignment. We see Paradis is here at 31 looking strong. Does he want a three year? We'll give him that one year for sure. Kwan, sorry, pal. It's probably the end of the road for you. Uh, a lot of money for this punter. I will say it's a punter, so. I mean, you really should have taken that, pal, because let's be honest, you in free agency now, boy. You in free agency now. There's no chance you coming back. I mean, I like him a lot, but that's a lot of money. Almost 7 mil. I mean, mm, good punt. Nah, I'll give him the contract, I think. Got to remember, it's a realistic, and at the end of the day, a good punter can, can completely change a game. So I think overall it actually probably is pretty fair, honestly. Three-year deal. How is it's more than you wanted, just less years? Get the hell out of here. Super to the playoffs. Let's see this record. See how good our QB did. And we made it at ten and six. Now this is pretty shocking because we were six and six, and we won what four straight to make the postseason. Absolutely clutch. Maybe five technically against a Falcons team that's. 11 and 5 as well. That's pretty impressive. Let's take a look at these stats though. Kirkland, where are the touchdowns, buddy? Okay, in fairness, the ground game did take 25 touchdowns, so decent bit of touchdowns there. Uh, receiving, terrible. Jerry Cook was okay, I suppose. Offensive line, worse for our guy than Cam, but maybe that's because of more mobility from Cam. Uh, Miles Garrett, 13 sacks. Quan Short. I mean, where's the sacks from Brian Burns? Like, what are we doing here? Like, we have them on the backups. Ooh, Sanborn. God tier. Same with uh, Johnson. Good kicking from Sly. That could have been the difference between making and missing the postseason. Let's take a look. So, Rodgers still playing as an 86 overall now. Miles Garrett, Defensive Player of the Year. Shh, definitely worth the money, it appears. Sanborn, Defensive Rookie of the Year. Oh, that's beautiful. Best running back we got. 
Best uh, linebacker. Pretty good season, honestly. Can't say much more about it. 91 overall. This might be our highest overall realistic rebuild, especially in a three-year span. Probably should have upgraded tight ends, and that's a problem we have, but maybe the postseason success will just give us to us anyways. Uh, so, Kirkland is an 84 overall now with pretty good ratings. I mean, looks pretty good. He's already a much more accurate QB than Cam, and he's got 94 throw power, so that's really impressive. Let's take a look at the defensive side of the ball. Two upgrades from Miles Garrett. Um, Sambor went up a decent bit, in fairness. He went up like six overalls. I need to start upgrading manually because look at his zone. He's a safety. No, we have enough of those. Oh, I should have been manually upgrading him. All right, fellas. Time to run some zone coverage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, either way, going against the Falcons, we beat them to pretty much make the postseason. Look at the overall difference. 91 to 70. This is the closest to a Madden 19 rebuild we've ever gotten. You remember Madden 19 where most rebuilds by year three, you're looking at a plus 15. 10 to 15 at least. Now it's maybe five at most. This is huge, though. What is this, a 14 difference? Patriots get smoked by the Browns. Let's see what happens in real life, I suppose. End of the game. Let's see who gets the ball first. So Falcons get the ball. They get three. We get seven. Defense is doing pretty well so far. As I say that, they give up three, and then the offense forces them to get up and more. Down by 10 against a team with 14 overalls less. Okay. Our season's going to end here. Okay, here we go. We got a chance. Got a chance to continue this. Wait, whose ball is this? What, I don't know what happened, but we have the ball back. Four minutes left. We hit the punt. You're punting? I don't know why my voice is doing that. My throat is, like, dead. Okay, so rebuild ends in a loss to a 14 overall less team. All right, that's pretty cool. Epic, epic gamer moment. Nice. Good game, fellas. Gotta love it. Why build a championship roster when you're going to lose to a team that is not even a playoff team? I don't know. I don't know. How come every single rebuild ends like this? We started with a Super Bowl. Then we went to, was it a championship game? Then we couldn't even make it to the divisional. If we did one more season, we wouldn't even make the playoffs. You've got to be joking me. Let's take a look at who would have went up in development. None of the wide receivers really showed up, if we're being honest. Falcons somehow all the way through to the Super Bowl, and they lose it. Thanks for taking our spot and losing it. Good job. So tight end Jared Cook probably retired. It looks like he has... Offensively, no upgrades in development. Let's take a look at DJ Moore and uh, Curtis Samuel. DJ is looking really good. Looking really good at 25. He's still got time. Curtis at 26. Bit more of a burner. Still very good. Christian McCaffrey at the age of 26. Uh, not as impressive as I thought he would have been, but really good catching. So there you go. Uh, Miles Garrett, anyone else go up in development? I don't think so. Sanborn didn't, really? I definitely would have thought it. Ah, here we go. Off to the right path. Please be like plus 15, man. Plus two. Yeah, that's something, all right. <laughs> nice safety we got there. But that's the Carolina Panthers rebuild. Of course, we all know the truth. We built one of the best, if not the best, Madden roster through a rebuild we ever have, uh, at least from Madden 20. And the game screwed us over. Big shocker. Big shocker there. Tip drill. Gross. I mean, this was a really good set of drafts, too. We landed. Uh, Sanborn was amazing. Hess was really freaking good. Joseph was really good. What else? Offensively, Lyman. Surprise of the, the draft. Kirkland. A little bit of a theft. Star development. Played behind Cam for a year. Learned it all. Do we do a... What is this? A third or fourth straight... X on the quarterback thumbnail? I don't know. I, just, I don't know. I mean, Cam played better than Kirkland did, so I, I feel like it'd be kind of rude, too. So I don't think I will, but maybe in the title. We'll see. Anyways, if you have a suggestion for a rebuild uh, team, let me know. For the most part, I've been just choosing ones A. We haven't done. Ah, oh, for the love of Jesus. I didn't look to see if we did a Cam. Oh, no. Ah, we didn't. Thank you, Jesus. Whew. Whew. Close one, but... We did one, like, right at the end of the uh, Madden 19 cycle. So, I've been pretty much choosing a team that I think has a chance of playing an upset to a really good team or just a team involved. Uh, why, would, why would I do that? A team involved in a very good matchup. And then, of course, Thursday night games, we usually involve one of them. So, if you have a suggestion, just let me know. That's all it takes. Sometimes I'll do it. 
Still got to do that fantasy uh, draft rebuild. We still have some other style videos. Tuesday, I think we're going to do a another Madden Blast from the past. So the, next week's going to be some pretty good videos as well. Maybe a special little experiment. Who knows? Anyways, been a blast. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, maybe subscribe. Like the video if you liked it. Follow me on Twitter, Jerome P. Care. And that's pretty much that for the day. Hopefully you enjoy the football games. I know I will. And we'll be back tomorrow with, I believe, Niners franchise. It's a good one, too. It's a good one. Uh, anyways, hopefully you come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!